For many elderly and disabled people, community transport can be the only option for those needing to visit family, go shopping or visit the doctor. Today the Scottish Parliament's Infrastructure and Capital Investment Committee are calling on the Scottish Government to increase funding. Community transport provides a lifeline service um, to many people who would otherwise be stuck in their homes. Um, and it's uh, run by volunteers, it's a great, uh, it provides a great service and we feel that the, perhaps the government could step in. Some of the challenges with community transport include the cost of driver training, difficulties in accessing long-term funding and a lack of joined up working between transport authorities, local government and health boards. For users of the Ripple Project Lunch Club in Loch End, the bus service provided is crucial. Community tra transport that takes me everywhere. Well, the bus is a big advantage. Mm. Plus you get a bit of conversation with others who come. When they see the bus, I think, ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> Training bus drivers can cost up to £1,000, but the vehicles themselves are often in need of repair. Well, the bus we're standing next to this morning, actually, it's funded by the local authority. We do have some of our own vehicles, and the biggest problem we have at the moment is trying to raise funds to replace them. Some of them are getting a bit long on the tooth, they're about nine year old, some of them, so they're getting to that stage where they do need to be replaced, but it's like everything else, and we can't really afford to replace them at the moment. To read more about the committee's findings and the specific action they are calling on the Scottish Government to take, please visit the Parliament website.